everyone, and welcome to my 48th video. It's been a while, 19 videos to be exact, since I last posted any Disney pin related content. But I'm back in my Disney corner to show you the Lion King 25th Anniversary Limited Edition pin set. First we will be going over the display case and then moving on to the pins individually. On the middle of the border at the top, it reads Disney the Lion King 25th Anniversary. The pattern surrounding the words and a silhouette of the characters. Next to that, there is a classic Disney logo. I can't tell if that's Mufasa and Sarabi or Simba and Nala. On the side, there is Timon and Pumbaa singing with a jungle background. Connected to the male lion, which I think is Mufasa, is his mane. Then at the top, a Disney The Lion King logo. The bottom piece of the box that holds the pins has grass around the sides connecting to Pride Rock with Disney The Lion King written again. Pulling the black tab allows you to access the pins to take them out individually. You can also see that there's a protective foam inside of the box to keep everything secure. The background of the display where the pins are kept is a soft pastel-like print of Pride Rock. It makes the colors of the pins pop. It's going to be very hard for me to rank these pins by least favorite to favorite, but I'm going to try for the sake of the video. So first off, we have the Rafiki pin, and I'm going from the bottom and going up from there. So this is my least favorite pin. This by no means is a bad pin. In fact, it's beautiful. I love the posture of Rafiki. I love the implied movement that it shows. I love the staff. I love how there's two pin backs. However, it doesn't fit with the rest of the collection, being that this is the only one that is of this pin type, which I feel like you would find an open edition version of something similar, like a full body Rafiki. I forgot to mention the back of the pins. Every pin from the set has a back without a Mickey waffle print. The Primitive Simba pins have the most unique back as they are stained the main color of the front of their pin. They all have the Disney logo, the official 2019 pin trading logo, the Lion King 25th anniversary symbol, the Disney copyright with the words China below, and lastly an FAC number. This is my least favorite of the three Primitive Simba pins, but that doesn't mean that it is a bad pin either. There's a lot of cool stuff about this pin, even though it is quite simple. For starters, it has an impasto texture because there's a little bit of air bubbles all around it, making it seem as though there's a furry texture to it. I also really like the shading because it's quite simple and gives it a very pastel feel. This is my second favorite out of the Primitive Simba pins, and that is because it looks like it was chiseled and painted on wood. What I mean by that is there's a really nice wooden texture going across the entire pin, looking like it's one piece of the wood, and there's a lot of different colors from that, as well as the mane itself is red, but you can see pieces of the mane wood coming at the top, like you would paint over it and it dried and some of it chipped off. I also really like how the mane and the head is raised a little bit, and you could also run your finger down here and feel the mane. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite pin of the entire collection, which is also my favorite primitive Simba pin, the Galaxy Simba. I call this one the Galaxy Simba because I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it does look like a galaxy or the night sky. It reminds me of that scene when Mufasa tells Simba that the kings of the past live in the sky as stars. Very colorful, very vibrant. There's blues, purples, reds, and pinks in it. And the back has color on it. All of the primitive Simbas have color stained on the back, except this one is the most eye-catching and the least natural. I love how the pin back is stained blue. And I just think that is so awesome and so unique that this pin really, really stands out to me. I'm going to be keeping the pins in their case because I've never had a limited edition pin set before that came with a display. So I'm very happy to have that already organized for me. Comment down below which pin is your favorite. And as always, Thanks for watching and see you next time.